Good morning. You're watching India Today. I'm Akshita Nathagopal. Early this Sunday morning, the big breaking news that's coming in is that fugitive Khalistani Amritpal Singh has surrendered. Sources telling us here on India Today that Amritpal has surrendered before the Moga police in Punjab. There's been a manhunt on for him for the last many, many months. And now he's finally been nabbed because he surrendered before the Moga police. Kamaljit Sandhu is joining us with more details on this. Kamaljit, good morning. What are you picking up from police sources? Uh, well, sources do indicate to us a little over a month since Amrit Pal has been on the run. He's, uh, he's been arrested uh, subsequently. He had actually surrendered before Moga police. And remember, this is where the chase had actually begun on March 18th. Uh, which is uh, um, the area in Jalandhar and there was obviously a manhunt which was carried out for a month. There was a close chase which uh, happened on March 28th, which is 10 days later. But meanwhile, uh, we had asked for Sarbat Khalsa, but he got very little support on the ground. Uh, there was no masses, there was no support base for him and there was obviously a lot of pressure on his family as well. Uh, there have been at least nine other people who have been detained under an NSA. Remember, Amrit Pal is a fugitive who has been slapped with the NSA. In, uh, most likelihood, uh, in some time from now, we would see uh, that he's been moved to Dibrugarh like uh, other NSA detainees. But again, uh, this is obviously coming in through our sources. Uh, Punjab police officially uh, is yet to really confirm, but our sources do indicate uh, that Amrit Pal has been arrested after he surrendered before Punjab police. Okay, so this is the big breaking news that's coming in. He surrendered in Moga uh, and uh, as Kamajit was telling us, this comes at a time when we've been seeing the police crack down on several of his aides, several of his family members. Just a few days ago, his wife wasn't allowed to travel to London despite having a UK passport because the police said that it's crucial for her to remain in India right now. But there will be questions, Kamajit, on the circumstances of him being taken into custody. It's not the cops who found him. He surrendered, correct? Uh, see, there has to be a credit given to Punjab police. We feel on account because, uh, remember, they had kept uh, a lot of uh, uh, mechanism in place. Uh, Punjab was on high alert. Uh, they had, had carried out a really, uh, lot of uh, raids. Uh, so, uh, mostly, uh, sources do indicate uh, that Amrit Pal had actually run out of option. And this is what they had suggested way earlier only, that he cannot be on the run for so long. It's only that if he has a support system which will actually help him go outside abroad. And uh, remember, India had also sought help from Nepal in that instance. Uh, so this is obviously a chain uh, which has really worked. Uh, not only Punjab police was working, uh, they were also coordinating with the nearby states, whether it's Haryana, Himachal, Uttar Pradesh. Uh, so it was a massive manhunt which went over a little over a month. And after that, uh, we've seen uh, the pressure tactics of Punjab police working. All his close aides uh, who had been uh, arrested, taken away uh, to the Brugard. Uh, recently, his wife, uh, Kiran Jeet Kaur, was stopped at Amritsar Airport while she was trying to fly out abroad. And this is uh, the pressure that has been put on the family as well, uh, that this man should present himself before law. Uh, this has been reiterated by Punjab police time and again. Uh, so it was a multiple tactics which was put on ground. It has yielded uh, dividends because, yes, uh, we've been told by our sources that he has been detained. Uh, he's obviously surrendered before Mogapolis, but again, a pressure tactics which has worked. That's right.